After a number of brush fires broke out around the county. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez joins us live from Mission Valley tonight, where one of those fires burned with how the weather is prompting fears of mudslides. Jasmine? No, that's right. Now we're just next to that hillside that caught fire just a few weeks ago. And tonight we've been learning how this weather might impact burn scars like this one around San Diego. Hopefully there's no flooding or anything, but we'll see what it's like tomorrow. You know, I think it'll be okay. After San Diego experienced one of the driest years on record, people like Samantha are welcoming the rainfall. Super happy. We're loving it. Yes, it's cozy. Now that there was all that fire and now we have a little bit of rain, I think it's great. While the rain is much needed, areas that caught fire and destroyed the vegetation can be more prone to mudslides. Anytime a steep slope with heavy soil on it or loose rock, it gets hit by fire or bulldozer and bare, no tree roots, no plant roots, then it's very prone to slide or flow away during a heavy rainfall. Tonight, areas in LA destroyed by the Palisades and Eaton fires are on high alert for destructive mudslides and flooding. Many residents in burn zones there are already preparing. Here in San Diego, I spoke with geologist Pat Abbott, who says we don't have as much to worry about. I asked him how the expected rain might impact the steep slope burned in Mission Valley. Well, I would expect small flows there. I'm not expecting a major landslide that's going to wipe out the road, but I certainly would expect quite a bit of sand uh, to come down like there's a little fan, little splays out onto the road, and it could be enough to uh, block traffic. They might have to uh, block it off until they scoop it up and remove the material. And again, he says we don't have nearly as much to worry about down here in San Diego. But if you do have a steep backyard, he recommends getting sandbags that can help better protect your property. And we do have information on CBS8.com to find areas that you can flip those sandbags for free. Back to you.